You've probably seen one of the Iron Man movies. Maybe you've seen all three. And the suit that Iron Man wears is pretty much the ultimate weapon. But could we someday see soldiers wearing suits like that out on the battlefield? Jeff is here. He's got the details. Uh, this isn't just Robert Downey. We're talking about <laughs> regular soldiers, huh? Uh, that's right. And actually, the same 3D printers that were used to model Robert Downey Jr.'s suit in Iron Man, they're using the same equipment to develop the real thing for the battlefield. The studio that is behind this is Legacy Effects, and they are taking on this monumental task. It's daunting because somebody else's life will eventually, uh, you know, their, their life is in, in your hands. The group has unveiled several prototypes to the military. The products they're designing include exoskeleton suits, micro cooling vests, and spines that support the helmet. The human body won't look much different in its form and function, but the soldier of today will look much different in the future. The exoskeleton suit could allow for a soldier to carry hundreds of pounds of extra weight. That could be very useful on the battlefield when carrying equipment uh, and uh, supplies and other weapons. There would be a high-tech helmet that has sensors to detect threats, and future versions may include liquid armor that hardens when hit by bullets. The program is largely being developed in secret, and uh, you, you saw a paraplegic there. They're combining uh, various uh, agencies. Uh, some are with the studios, uh, some are from Silicon Valley, and then others uh, work with paraplegics, and they're all combining uh, their minds to try to develop the, the best suit possible, because there have been some flops and failures years along the way. In fact, uh, the House Armed Services Committee just recently voted uh, to make sure that the Pentagon was not repeating past mistakes made uh, as they move forward with this program. But it is happening, uh, Dan, at, at a high cost, I'm sure. Uh, but there's a greater cost on the battlefield when someone loses their life. Of course. Absolutely. Yeah. If this could make a difference in those numbers, then we'd welcome it. Sure. All right. Thank you, sir. Yep.